Hi everyone, this is Pierre Rick from P2Design. If you ever rigged in Blender, you probably have heard about Bones Custom Shapes. With them, we can switch from this to this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video. Now, there's a little step we can take further to not only make them look great, but also stick to the surface they're deforming. Let's check it out. Before we get started though, I'd like to remind you that it's Black Friday on p2designacademy.com until next Monday. So if you want to learn rigging and animation in Blender, now it's the time to get my courses at the best price. Let's get back to our tutorial. If we give a look at this amazing character rig named Storm, made and provided by the Blender Studio, you can see how these face controllers always stick to the surface they're deforming. Even though when comparing the actual position of my transform and the bone, there is quite a difference. So how do we get this nice behavior instead of this one? As an example, I will be using my good old Ronin ring that is available for free on p2designacademy.com. When you get started with rigging, you're generally used to have those octahedral shapes or b-bone shapes. But if the controllers of your rig already features custom shapes, they can be displayed by enabling shapes under the armature properties. To create those custom shapes, I highly recommend using the free add-on Bone Widget. And if you want a proper introduction to this add-on, check out this video. In pose mode, under our Bone properties, in the viewport display tab, you will find custom shapes. This is where you can manually source any geometry to replace your bone viewport display. So I won't show you how to manually create that because it's boring and the add-on does it for us. We choose a shape, we create the custom shape, we edit it as we will be editing any kind of mesh. The add-on deals with everything, aligning the custom shape, symmetrizing it if you want. I just use it all the time. So now we know how to create a custom shape. Now the problem I want to solve is to keep my custom shapes or controllers following or sticking to the surface they deform. The first benefit is that this kind of behavior looks really cool. But beyond that, it can be also more comfortable. When you have a lot of controllers on a character's face, for example, you may want those controllers to stick to the surface so that they are easier to identify instead of being viewable through the mesh. This can be done by using the X-ray mode. You can toggle it using the shortcut Alt-Z. Or you can choose to display your armature in front, which I don't advise you to do, because it's always there and you can't switch it off on linked characters. All this to say that we want our controllers to stick to the surface so that they don't get lost inside the character, for example. Here, I can't find my controller. And while it's not the end of the world on this specific character with that simple face rig, it can quickly turn to a nightmare with more dense rigs. So let's take a look at this eyebrow controller. When entering edit mode, it's a simple bone. And as a custom shape, I'm using a simple sphere. I will duplicate the bone and push it forward. When I get back to post mode, this duplicated bone also get the same custom shape. So I will get rid of it. It doesn't matter for the purpose of this tutorial. I will use this bone to override the viewport display of the controller. So I want to name it properly. We can use the prefix VIS dash. The thing is, like MCH, ORG, or DEF, when you're keying your character using whole character, the VIS bone won't receive any key. So you will keep your graph editor and action editor clean. I will get rid of the bone on the right so that we only have one bone to deal with. Now, on my controller, under the bone viewport display option, I will source this new VIS bone under Override Transform. 
and we can see our controller jumping to the VIS bone. So the actual bone didn't move, it's just where it's displayed now. And as you can see, I'm moving the bone, the characters deform, but the custom shape doesn't move because the bone used to override the bone display doesn't move. If my goal is just to offset the viewport display of the bone, I can work directly on the custom shape or I can simply give a constraint of the override transform bone or VIS bone copying the local transformation of our controller. This way, when I'm moving the controller, the VIS bone will do exactly the same but in its own space and our custom shape will follow. We can hide the VIS bone and see the result. To better understand how we can improve it, I will change the custom shape to a pyramidal shape. We can clearly see our controller widget jumping from the VIS bone to its original position whenever I enable or disable the override transform. Now how to make this bone perfectly stick to the surface or perfectly stick to this vertex? Well it's actually pretty simple. I will copy the name of the bone and I will create a new vertex group on my Ronin character and I will give it the name of the bone so that it's easy to identify. And I will assign this single vertex to that new vertex group. Now to make sure that this visualization bone stick to that vertex, I can give it a copy transform constraint, source the Ronin character, and source the vertex group I just created. Now whatever happened to this vertex, the visualization bone will follow and so will my custom shape. The only issue is the orientation of the custom shape. And this is hard to predict. But we can easily give it the orientation we want by simply using a copy rotation, sourcing our controller. To do that, I can simply first select my controller, then the visualization bone, press Ctrl Shift C and add a copy rotation constraint. And we're done. Now, whatever transformation I will apply to my controller, its custom shape will follow the transform of our overriding transform bone. And again, we can see the difference when we enable or disable the override transform. There are a couple of other options you can explore, but with these simple tips, you should be able to do whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.